it's time to get a first look and first drive of a brand new EV. Yes, it's the fifth gear recharged team test. Today, the team tested the Citroën Ami. Citroën says the Ami is not a car, but a two-seater, fully electric vehicle designed to offer a compact, cheap and eco-friendly means of travel over short distances. And, in their words, open up urban mobility to all. When it arrived in the UK in 2022, it'll cost about £6,000 to buy outright, but Citroën is also expecting the Ami to become a popular short-term rental, and it's already being driven on the streets of France. So it is a quadricycle, which means that you don't have to have a full driving licence to have it. What do you mean you don't need a licence? It's, it's a quadricycle. And so you it can legally to... drive it on the road? Yeah. Yeah. At, what, at what age? 14, in, 14 in, in, in France. It's worth noting, however, that unlike France, here in the UK you'll need to be 17 and have a full licence to drive the AMI, whilst on average across European countries you'll need to be 16. I'd love to have had this when I was 16 or 14. I'd have moved to France for it. Has it got any airbags? No. Nope. Crumple zones? No. Nope. So it's got no safety tech? No. Nope. And kids can drive it on the public <laughs> road? Yes, but I would rather have them in this than, say, an e-scooter. I got knocked off my bicycle three times. If you had a teenager, they're going to be safer in this than yeah. riding their push bike around. Yeah. I love it. Yes. I do. I, yes. I love it. <laughs> I think we all quite liked it, except Jason, he didn't like it at all. It's just a stupid thing, isn't it? I mean, I hate it. It'll only do 28 miles an hour, OK? How many horsepowers has it got? Eight GGs. <laughs> eight. Did you say eight? But it's got 40 newton metres of torque. <laughs> Woohoo! It's got interchangeable panels, so the back and the front can be swapped around, and the doors are identical. You can move them from one side to the other, and they'll just fit. And what, what's good about that? Minimal cost. I love the fact that one opens this way and the other one opens the other way. Stupid idea. So I think there's some clever ideas in the way they've designed and packaged it. Look, you've got a pan panoramic-ish sunroof, which is lovely. Range is 43 miles between fill-ups. And when you go to recharge it, you just pull out a plug. This is the charging cable. Look, it's in here. Look. You can charge it on a domestic plug in about three hours. So it looks like a toaster and has a cable like a toaster. I mean, I suppose it's clever. <laughs> in some weird way. How would you get it back in? Has it got, like, a button? So you got to feed it back in yourself. Yep. That's not going to get tedious at all. I'm going in, Rory. Yeah, cool. Let's have a look. It's a lot of plastic. Oh, these seats offer very little support. Oh. Because this is fifth gear, obviously we needed to test the performance and handling of this electric quadricycle on our city circuit at city speeds. So we came up with an idea. The Ami is supposed to be an alternative transport to walking or bicycling. So we put it up against a bicycle. Only one of us actually rides a bike in our team. That was me. So we thought we'd pitch them round a little city circuit and see which was the quickest. Rory and I would set a lap time, then Karun would try to beat it. Now, up to this point, most of us had liked the Ami. Stand by for a slight change of opinion. Four, three, two, go! Let's go! Oh, oh solid launch, good talk. Oh, oh no, right! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Feels like it's about to roll. Wait for it. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Oh my god! <laughs> Did you see that? Them. That was on two wheels then. It nearly rolled at about what? 10 miles an hour, if that, it was the most terrifying thing that's happened to me, probably ever. So what we've learned is that even though the batteries are low down in the floor... They're not low enough. They're not low enough. <laughs> Nevertheless, we pressed on. All right, flat, 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 no. 45 kilometres an hour, flat. 28 miles an hour. I am flat, baby. Is this all eight horsepower? That's two minutes just past now. Oh, there they are. There they are. I'm going to have to do a flying finish. Woo! OK, let me out. <laughs> that was ridiculous. It was quite scary. <laughs> Whilst we tried to calm down, <laughs> Karun set off. Yep. Three, two, one, go! I heard screaming. Did you? <laughs> was that the highest honesty you've ever been? It, it was... It was... Tipping point borderline, yeah. massively. No. As we waited for our heart rates to approach something close to normal... Well, well said. I don't know what you did. Karun was giving his a thrashing. He's got 40 seconds to get back to beat you. 
Here he comes. Oh, he's here, he's here, oh, he's here. No. <gasps> so you guys did it in two minutes and six seconds, and Karun did it in uh, one minute 55. What? <laughs> oh, well done, Karun. Well done. So, after a hair-raising day with the Ami, what would we score it? Wow! Oh, my God! <laughs> At the beginning of the day, I was quite impressed with the concept. I would have given it a seven, seven and a half. But having seen how unstable it was, I'm going to give it a four. Karun beat the Ami on the bike anyway because he could corner faster and was a lot more stable and probably safer as well. So on that basis, it's a one. At the beginning of the day, I absolutely loved it, but after the incident, <sighs> mm, I'm going to give it a three. So being generous, at the beginning of the day, I was mindful, because I don't like it, to give it a, a one, but actually having touched it and watched it, I'm going to give it a zero. Citroen says the Ami is not a car, and it's only intended for low speeds in busy stop-start urban traffic and that it's not been engineered to be raced or driven aggressively. But still, it gets our lowest ever fifth gear team test score with just eight out of 40.